first time I remember the laptop was brought into a dressing room and I said, what is this laptop going to teach us? How can the laptop teach us how to bat or to bowl? But then over a period of time, we realized that, you know, you can store a lot of data and it's accessible, you know, at a drop of your hat. And, and uh, it, it really helped in planning. I don't think uh, when in, in 1989, when I started, you know, the guys planned, but, you know, it was all about uh, your imagination, you know, but here actually you have a screen in the, in the team room where uh, the, the, the coach is actually telling you oh, these are the areas where the batsman is uncomfortable or these are the areas from the opposition camp the bowler is bowling and this is where you need to attack. You know, you can actually see it. So it's not about your imagination and you're visualizing various things. It's, it's very much precise. And that didn't happen early on. I mean, it's changing and something which has really changed the game now is T20, the, the shortest format of cricket. T20 has changed the game immensely. I mean, you can see the reflection of that also in test cricket. Something which I feel only which is slightly vulnerable at this stage is wonder cricket. The 50 over game, you mean? Yes. Yeah, because of what 20 over cricket has done to public. And, Absolutely. And the, the, yeah, the fascination. You know, like, okay, you be asked me here tonight in front of 600 people, but when a 10-year-old or 12-year-old asks you, Brian, how do you score 400 runs? It's difficult to really tell 